Oh, look at that! I opened the turn and what do I see? Ground combat! And what I see in this ground combat is 10 of my interceptors dying, but uh, the enemy being dead. That I like. There's actually an army. Did a militia army spawn after all? Where is it? Uh, yes, it's named militia, so I guess there's always at least one militia army that spawns. Because there aren't any levels to find. In vanilla, there would be levels. Oh, they're actually pretty fast. Does this thing have lasers? It's got a laser beam here. Yeah. Has that energy weapon type. And it has um, basically perfect accuracy. Looks like over a quite a long range. And th th this thing isn't even mounted for anything. And the dust, those 15 damages for every second. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, I guess he killed 10 of these fighters with that. With that, and I bet this is a skirmisher general. Yeah, that one has uh, most speed. Damn. Yeah, he's shooting those down pretty well. Looks like this is the edge of the map for him though. And once I catch up with him, all the kinetic weapons can go onto the armor and lay on their own eventually. The army's help too. So damn, that plan was mine now. Lost 10 of these fighters. I guess I can live with that. Now we know he has lasers and now we know what lasers look like. So, let's look at the damage types. Do lasers uh, work pretty much like pretty much like kinetic weapons? No, right, they penetrated armor. That's how he one shot at all the fighters, I guess. They penetrate armor, but they get absorbed by shields. So I guess it's uh, even more important that I develop these shields right now. Good thing we're already on it. Here's those three ships I was expecting. So, what should we do? I think we are going to leave uh, these two ships here, the scout ship. Oh, great, now I killed the fleet. I think we are going to make this fleet once more. Smallpox missile ship. Mm, yeah, let's set you as task force leader. No, let's set you as TF leader. Now let's set you because you have an optimum of 40. I better think the strategy is what matters anyway. Let's set attack and defense strategy. So, if he wants to, he can go and conquer or kill or bombard that planet now. Uh, he doesn't have anything to actually conquer it with. Uh, he has hydrogen, but that does not really matter to me because I have all non atmosphere. Mm -hmm. These two things should not produce anything because we don't have a starport. Neither does he actually, so uh, it's quite a curious question as to why he built these. And oh look, it's tiny size and it's also 10k facility space. Look, asteroids don't actually have increased facility space. And I guess there's less of them than there would be planets, but I guess they all have a non-atmosphere type. I guess I was just really lucky that I picked non-atmosphere with these things. Instead of picking one of the others, otherwise I would have probably ended up with a homeworld that was asteroid and uh, carbon dioxide or something, and then all asteroids that spawn would have been asteroids none. So you are going uh, here, You're just a recon ship. Yeah, we just give you the one range sensor dish. You cloaking, going there. You should be building uh, fighters, I guess. We need four of these to replace the losses that we had. Oh god, construction rate of a hundred. <laughs> that is nothing, is what that is. So it, it would take so long to even build light shipyards to start building heavy industry. Man. Uh, what do we call this? It's called a mining colony. Because it seems like that's what we're going to be doing here. 
Yeah, we're gonna run out of resources in four or five turns. We need to have these things start producing stuff soon, and they will start building metropolises next turn. And this one seems to be already starting on them. Good. Very good. Unfortunately, metropolises don't really produce that much, only like 300 per planet, modified by the values, which is uh, something, but. We're going to crash on our resource value quite soon. You know what I think I'm going to do? I think I'm going to pause uh, the construction of this. Because this thing has quite a bit of maintenance cost that I don't want to have immediately go onto my wallet right now. This is still building, this is still building its space dock. And then it's point 0.4 years for this, point 0.2 years for this. It's almost going to be... Uh, done after the research centers on that planet are fully complete but only almost afterwards we wanna want more shipyards here i think we wanna have another light one and then we can start building a heavy and um, then we're gonna fill up the planet and at the end of it we're going to remove the lights or build a second heavy who knows the warships they're going here uh, yeah, they're just both moving here on a system. It's fine with me. I assume does he build anything here? No, not in the last turn. Uh, you were going there, you were also going there. You haven't discovered anything else while you were traveling, but you're really going for that planet. Do you have any sensor stuff on here? No, so we can probably move this ship here quite uh, uh, quite freely. This ship did have a gun, yeah. Uh, mm. Yeah, maybe we want to move a warship over to this war point. And if we can keep this uh, system. That would be very nice. I did send uh, colonizers here after all. And it seems like we're going to be able to hold this uh, stuff here. Um, and if I can hold this war point, I don't think he's going to be able to send anything here. And uh, it would take forever for him to actually build anything here to threaten the colonies that I'm going to found in the system. So, what do? I have these extra warships here. One, two, three, four, five of them. They're going to move one tile, two tile, three tile, four tiles onto there. And you can't actually uh, hit that in one turn. So, what we are going to do is. Uh, yeah, we should probably just move here with you. I don't think he's going to try and attack his planet. He's probably going to try and conquer it back. Only way I could see him attacking it is if he runs into it and doesn't change his uh, strategy to not bombard it. Mm -hmm. You should go with them. Yeah, that's the tile they are going to. And you should um, load the troops. Should you? I don't think you should. But then again, any th there's nothing else to conquer here. Maybe I should just send uh, load the troops with this ship again and set it down here to conquer that planet as soon as possible. I can load the troops if I want to. It's going to take one turn and um, then try to move there, but it should only get to here because it spends one turn picking up troops and then one turn, one turn moving these tiles each. So, you are going to go through this warp point this turn. You're cloaked. Ah, shit. You're not just cloaked, you're also out of supply. So we need to decloak to do this. How about... How about you just don't do anything this turn. Re uh, regenerate 60 of your supplies. And then go through cloaked next turn. Then it's going to end up uh, decloaked on the other side uh, at 8 supply again uh, next turn, or in two turns, I guess. But I think you can move out of a contested tile 
while you're decloaked without triggering combat. At least I would assume it, uh, that you can. Construction, we've been over. Research, we've been over. Mineral situation, we've been over. Well, the big question now is to see what he does. Only one way to find out. 